All right, guys, I'm out. Loud, loud ass ducks. Anyway, I'm back out here at this lake. You guys might, may remember this lake uh, from when I was, you know, fish tier naked uh, or half naked, had no clothes, uh, no pants on. Back at this lake again. Finally got the uh, membership back here. But look at this water level. You guys probably see it already. That water level is like 12 times higher than it was the last time I was here. That used to be out of water, and now look, it's like halfway submerged. So that's great. Here again. Uh, water super clear, so a good thing about today's go slice some bass today. I'm gonna start off with this little like drop shot kind of thing. I believe it's called a hot shot rig. Um, to, uh, just a really like a modified version of a drop shot. Um, I'll be starting out over here, it's a little sketchy, but I just have a good feeling about this little section over here. Um, just using a little uh, like finesse worm kind of thing. Um, I'll be working out, working it out through this little area. And go back down that way. Um, like the water's so filled, it goes past the fence, and I can't go down that way anymore. So I can't get through there. There's a couple good sections down there. Ooh! Oh, I just saw a little baby fish down there. It's a good size. Oh, those! I wish I could. I wish you guys could see this right now. I'm not sure if you guys, the camera can pick it up. But there's a little fish down there, like a little baby bass down there, attacking my little worm. So that's a good sign for me. Yeah, it's been about what, like six, seven months since I've been here. Um, I'll have to go back and check the video, um, and I'll leave that down in the uh, description below, um, or I'll leave it as a card up on the um, screen, so you can check out that video you guys haven't already. But it's a, it's a really weird video. I was like over there somewhere, and I had to take off my pan pants to go in the water. But besides that, it was a weird day. So if I don't hook any uh, uh, fish after I'm done with these couple sections over here, uh, I'm gonna switch out this worm for an uh, actual like a small section, a uh, small segment of night crawler, and actually try to hook any of these little fish. Um, just because you know it's always good to catch little like micro fish, micro species. Um, even though bass aren't usually micro, they are when they're babies. But besides that, uh, I'll switch over to uh, night crawler. Um, see where I can go from there. I could definitely see a lot of these little baby fish down here even without glasses because this water is super clear. Yeah, I mean, not super clear, but it's pretty clear. Yeah, there's bluegill and little bass here. Put that right there for now and put some worms on. Oh, finally. Yeah. It's a, it's, oh, that's a micro bass, guys. That's what you call a micro bass. That is the second smallest bass I've caught in my life. Yes, second, if you heard me, second smallest bass I've caught in my life. Oh, it's so hard to lip them and get the... Oh, good. Yep, oh, second God, smallest bass. So Alright guys, switching down to a different section of the lake, down over there. Kind of sad I can't walk on the inside, but uh, it's fishing sometimes. Yeah, that, that place over there looks kind of juicy, so feeling kind of good. Caught one little micro bass already, so that should mean the mom is that down somewhere. Spawning time was about a couple months ago, two months ago, I want to say. So that means uh, there should be some longings down, um, super longfish around here somewhere. There's a bunch of little fish down there. I'm going to land a fish from up here. Stuck. That usually works, but isn't it? Yep. Broke off. Well, that blows. I haven't broke off in years. But I'm just gonna go back and retire right now. Alright guys. Um retied, I should really be getting over there, but there's all these little juice spots I wanna fish. If I only had a flipping stick with me, I could totally flip the jigs in here in Texas rigs and stuff. Should really be on this shady side over here. I'm gonna go do. Just shit. Oh, oh, yes, he's not that big. Oh, oh, it feels so good. Get out of there. 
Oh. 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 Uh, it's about one pounder. Look at the gut on that fish, guys. My first fish out of this lake in months, and this is my first time here in months. Mmm. That was like two seconds after hitting the water. Off. Live bait. This, that is great, guys. That is a good feeling right there. You sniff him. Ooh, that smells really good. It's a good one pound. Look at the gut. He's like probably 12 inches. It is a good gun in him. I feel bad for dropping him, but. See you, bub. I feel bad for doing that. Oh, that was like two seconds after I hit the water, and he was just kind of on it, and just up that jig head too. Um, if you guys any remember some of my older videos, not older videos, but previous videos, I used the same rig, just weren't night crawler jig head, same setup. Let's try that again. I think there's gonna be more down there. Yeah, I'm gonna try this dock really quick, guys, because the feeling's gonna be related to structure and cover and stuff like that. So this just seems like a little good spot. I haven't, you know, fished docks enough, um, but I know that they like docks, so I'll just be trying to get underneath that, if I can even pitch correctly. All right, guys, today was such an amazing day. Feels good to be back at this lake again. Um, granted, it's private, I know, but it just feels good to catch a fish at a lake, you know, a lake that you love. This is one of my favorite lakes, if not my favorite lake. Um, you know, I, I only caught two fish, that little, uh, the tiny little baby bass and that one over by the tree. It was, it was super fun. I really enjoyed it. It just feels good to get my hands on a bass and, you know, sniff it. It's such a great feeling. But I definitely say, you know, if you guys want to, you know, day to relax and fish, definitely use live bait. That's what I did today was sit back, relax throw night crawlers and cut a, cut a couple fish. It was a really amazing feeling to actually finally hook into a decent fish. That one over there I caught was about about a pound roughly, uh, give or take. So anyway, that does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button. Also hit that subscribe button below. I'll get you guys next time.